Hello everybody, it's Mario Supergirl. Season 3, episode 6. Alright, spoilers if you have not watched this episode. Alex and Kara are going back home. They're going back there for some R&R. &R. They're going to relax. She wants to forget about Maggie as you ship. That was a weird, bad tagline forced story. Some people are like, ah, how dare you say that? It was forced. Okay. It didn't, it didn't happen for me. It did not feel organic. No, I will say that. Literally, I will say it. I did not feel like it had continuity. I was like, mm -mm. But anyway, it's a flashback. So, it flashbacks to when they're in high school. Yeah. Alex did not like Kara because of the powers and everything. Like, oh, why do I have to take care of her? Like, she's not my real sister. Like, ooh, and her dad's not there. Daddy wasn't there. So, Kara's in high school and they're having fun. And one of her friends is getting bullied. And she's like, Pfft. I'm like, damn, she can crush him. And then after that, she friend-zoned her friend that she liked. Uh, I think Kevin, or... And guess what happens? He dies. I was like, damn, you just friend-zoned at the only man that wanted you. And then, ooh, I'm like, okay. So now, she wants to find the person that killed him. Because the whole thing, I'm like, wow, what the hell's going on? So, K Kara's looking and looking, and then she finally finds his laptop. She found the laptop. And then Alex was looking at it too. And then they see a picture. Their teacher kissed one of her friends. He's like, oh, come on. He's a pedo. He can't be doing that. He's kissing underage. Like, oh, I'm almost 18. You're 17. And then I'm like, hmm. But the thing is, yeah, this, he's still the teacher. The whole thing right there. I'm like, yeah. So they have him rested. But guess what? It's not him. He's not the one. Because the thing is, the alibi, she was like, she was, he was with me. I'm like, ooh, more incriminating. So now they're asking for help. And then... Uh, uh, this is the part where it ties in. Somebody save me, Smallville. I was like, yeah. So it ties in Smallville, and they're talking about, oh, I sent the laptop stuff to like the files to Chloe. Yeah, she has this thing called the Hall, the Wall of Weird. I was like, yep, this finally ties it in. <laughs> and then I'm like, hmm, I don't know. That's not Tom Welling's Superman. I know. <laughs> you know, the, the one that came right now, but the thing is, we all know. If you ever watch his pod, co podcast with uh, Rubenstein, Ru uh, Rosenbaum, <laughs> Rubens Ro yeah, they tell you why. Like, they don't want to be one character. Like, no, I'm above that. <laughs> well, he's on Lucifer now, and him, um, they, um, he's directing, I think. So they're looking forward, and the thing is, there's this cop. He's running around. He's helping them. Like, we will find the person that did this. And guess what? Uh, Alex is at a game, and then they do find out because Chloe sent Kara a message. It's the cop. He is dirty. And then Kara has to save her sister. And I'm like, yep, they save the day. He goes arrested. And then boom. I'm like, yeah! And then they get back and they're like, oh, they're just having a good time. They're being sisters. And they, she saw a photo where he knew, Kevin knew that she was, she was different. And he, didn't, he liked her for her. I'm like, oh. Well, what was the woman's I liked from this episode? Please come right straight up and take care.